And tonight there is a family in Abita Springs that is anxiously waiting to hear from their loved one who's stuck in the Bahamas right now. Well, they've only heard from them twice since the storm hit that area, and they are hoping that they'll get the help they need very soon. WDSU's Sherman DeSalle spoke with her husband, who talked about what he has heard so far. Sherman? That's right, ladies. Todd Kanak, he's a boat captain for a local company, and both he and his wife, Elizabeth, they've spent a lot of time in the ocean, and they're used to dealing with hurricane season. He told me he never imagined that she would be faced with so much uncertainty before she left home run the dishwasher at least once a week, make sure the water bowl is full for the animals. Todd Kanak's wife, Elizabeth, left him a ton of notes around the house before she left for the Bahamas. Wash the dishes because, of course, I'll leave them in the sink till they're overflowing. He says they weren't too worried about the storm. When it hit Cat 3 and then 4, um, the, the tension eh, escalated quite a bit. Elizabeth is a native of Green Turtle Key, a small island near Mainland Abaco, where the eyewall passed through. She was there visiting her sick mother, along with the rest of her family, when the storm hit. Being a, a boat guy and uh, spending a lot of time on the water, I, I know how those storms go, and there's not a lot you can do. You're kind of at the mercy of the elements, and um, I was very, very concerned. Todd only received one message through a Garmin service saying the family was okay. Then a short call via satellite phone Tuesday night. She just said that the island was utterly destroyed. Um, it, it looked like a bomb had gone off and, and dwellings were leveled and the island is impassable. But the family's home made it through the storm and they have supplies until they can get help. In the meantime, Todd will keep checking off the honeydew list until his wife comes home. She, uh, she's a great mom and great wife, and um, we miss her a lot. They've been married for 23 years. An interesting note, Elizabeth's father survived the strongest Atlantic hurricane to make landfall on record Labor Day weekend of 1935. He built that home to sustain another storm just like it. Now he and his entire family, they're sitting there together, safe, but waiting for rescue.